Let's see if we can make a foam generator that can fill your backyard with bubbles. Woo! <laughs> oh, that is kind of scary. We built a foam generator for under $200. Foam generator prices can be pretty steep, which is why we decided to build one from stuff we can find around the house. Recently, we have been cleaning out the studio. We found this fan in the shed, a bunch of dish soap under the sink, and we gathered some random PVC pieces that were laying around the house. So all together for us, this video is free. So if you did this at home, this is what you would need. Rent an air blower and sup pump, 10 feet of half inch PVC pipe, some sprinkler heads, four corner pieces, a few half inch tees, five connector points, some threaded pipe to a garden hose attachment, a half inch cross, six feet of hose, a shut off hose adapter, some soap, trash cans, and some J-Lube. You can find all of this at your local hardware store for under $200. What I really love about this design is that it's so easy. We just need to feed our water from our hose into the structure, and all of this is is just a closed circuit for the water to go through and then get pushed out of these sprayers. With garden hose water pressure, not only do you not need to glue it, but it's kind of better if you don't because then you can angle these nozzles to right where you want them. Now on the setup, we have the cross piece where the hose comes in, kind of has to be perpendicular to the rest of the frame because otherwise the hoses would be bumping into the machine itself. We found in testing that if our shirt or towel isn't soaking wet in the solution, then the bubbles aren't nearly as good. So that's why we built this little weird, but I wanna say trident, but it's a quad drent. Then we attach our hose to the pressure valve that lets us control the flow of our bubble solution to the machine. Since the city isn't cool and doesn't pump bubbles through our irrigation system, we have to then attach a sump pump to pump our bubble solution from our nifty trash can setup into our hose. The pump provides the bubble solution and the pressure we need to spray it. This system seems pretty solid, so now we just need a t-shirt or some kind of membrane to stretch over all of the sprinklers. We should be able to turn everything on at that point and start making bubbles. So we wanna try different types of materials to see what's gonna give us the best kind of bubble. So when you think about the weave or the knit work that's going on in these different fabrics, it's gonna have different sizes. So think of them as little wands that you blow bubbles out of. We wanna know which ones are gonna give us the best bubbles to make foam. We've got three types of cloth that we're gonna to try to see what makes the best bubbles. This one is an old t-shirt. Then we've got a piece of towel, and then we have a plush blanket. We're gonna see which one makes the best bubble foam. So to keep the bubbles from getting sucked in, I've just got this barrier and I'm just gonna kind of hold it right there to minimize the number of lost bubbles. Fans running. Two, one. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh. Uh, I gotta say, that is some pretty great bubbles right there. That was like look at, look 10 at seconds and this is amazing. Look at how well they're stacking on top of each other. So one of the things, that you want to have like really good foam action is that you want the bubbles not to just fall down and spread all the way out, but to yeah, be able not to liquid. stack on top of each other so that they get nice and high. It's way more fun that way. These are, these are amazing. This is what I imagine walking through a cloud feels like. Uh, let's try, let's try a blanket. Three, two, one. Oh. Interesting. I feel like it's slower. Yeah, so I'm wondering if this fleece A is more dense fabric, but also look at the difference in these bubbles. See how you see these really big ones in here? Yeah. So this, these bubbles are different from these, which are really tiny, dense, and thick. So you've got all these tiny bubbles here. I don't know what part of it's making the bubbles bigger. Maybe because the air is moving slower, it has more time to expand every individual bubble. But uh, the t-shirt, I think, definitely gave us a better result. Should we go something halfway in between? Try uh, the towel? Let's try a towel. See, you're not getting a lot of water right here, so you got this dry spot. Yeah, there's a few. It's soaking more though. There it goes. I. Oh. This is pretty good. Yeah. Oh man. I think that's at least as good as the T-shirt, although total quantity is at least as good. They might be slightly larger. Yeah. And we definitely have some big bubbles in here. But I do have one more thing I want to try. What's that? I took half of this same towel and I changed the shape a little bit because I figured more surface area would give us more bubbles. So I have a piece that I've sewn into a sort of balloon shape. I want to try that one and see if that makes a difference compared to what we got out of here. 
pumps running. The lower pressure, I think, actually gives much taller stackable bubbles. Like, look how, look how fluffy this is. I'm liking the movement. A lot of glacial front creeping out onto the sidewalk. So that's about one bucket's worth of bubbles. So five gallons gives us this amount of bubbleage. I'm going in. I can't see you, are you alive? Hard to breathe in there, they're just <laughs> bubbles. Oh jeez. Almost killed Kenan. I like the way that this turned out. It covered a lot of surface. It did. I think what we're learning is both work. Yeah, pretty I much think. equally well. I like the I like the T-shirt. You like the T-shirt? I like the T-shirt. All right, let's it's go. It's working. With the Everyone has a T-shirt. There's no sewing needed, and I think visually, like the compact bubbles, looks cooler. This came for you guys. Oh, sweet! It's our glow fluid. Oh, that's gonna be so much fun later. I don't even want to know. Well, now that you've got yourself an amazing foam blower, here's some things that you can do with it. Build yourself a foam pit. <laughs> oh, that is kind of scary. So much fun. <laughs> Build yourself a foamy slip and slide. Fill up a house? Let's do it. No, we just got the floors redone. Aww. That one. Please, that one. All right. Have fun! It's actually a little scary in there now. That is a house full of foam. There's only foam. There's, there's nothing that, look, there's a ceiling of foam that stayed. <laughs> that is actually a really cool shot. And it is birthed from the foam. <laughs> I live! So it actually is really cool, as you're going backwards, it makes like a tunnel, like a cartoon running through a wall. Kind of does that, and I can like see the shape of my body pushing through the bubbles a little bit. It collapses, but it is making a tunnel behind me, or in front of me. How much of the yard do you think we can fill with foam? Uh, probably the whole thing? Let's find out. All right. You're doing very good. So I left for literally three seconds to get the leaf blower to blow these bubbles out onto the yard. I come back three seconds later, Grace and Nate have dropped the fan, blown every circuit, and now we are in the process of fixing that. bubbles. We thought the only thing cooler than having a foam party is having a glow-in-the-dark foam party. So what Grace is pouring in right now it's called fluorescein. It's a dye that's often used for ophthalmolic surgeries and for looking at things in different types of waters and current flows. It's non-soluble, which means that it'll float around in the water. So hopefully as the water gets trapped into the bubbles, the dye will be inside of there too, which means that our foam should glow. There's no more soap in my eyes now, it's just in my nose and mouth. All right, to be honest guys, right now my ears are very full of soap and foam, and it's not my favorite. 
But you know what is great to have in your ears? Is Raycon earbuds. Thanks again to today's sponsor, Raycon. I use my Raycons for everything. Music, phone calls, and catching up on my latest audiobook. The sound quality is great, and the noise isolating fit helps keep me from getting distracted. They come with a bunch of gel tips to make sure you get a comfortable fit, and unlike some other brands, they don't stick out of your ears. Raycons have a 32 hour battery life, so you'll always have enough power for whatever you're listening to. They start at half the price of other premium audio brands, but they sound just as good. Raycon has a 45 day free return policy. Click the link in the description box or go to buyraycon.com slash TKOR to get 15% off your Raycon purchase. I can't think of anything more better to do with this. I'm pretty sure more better is the right way of saying that. But if you guys can think of something, leave it in the comments because we would love to play around with the flow machine. I don't know, all the time? Yeah. Every day? Let's go. Bye, Kenan. Hope you find your dad. <laughs>